Welcome to InfoCloud. My name is Campbell. This is Rex. We are your bona fide English teachers. Wait a minute, Campbell. It, um, it, is that even English? Actually, it's Latin. Latin is one of the many languages that English evolved from. So what does bona fide mean? It means real or true. Oh, okay. I know something else in Latin that our students, friends, etc. probably see every day. I know what you're talking about. Three letters together. ETC period at the end of a list. You got it. ETC etc. is pronounced etc. and means and so on. Mm -hmm. Another one that comes to mind is ad hoc. For example, the county government formed an ad hoc committee to oversee the festival. Ad hoc, spelled A-D-H-O-C, means uh, created for a certain purpose. So once the festival is over, the committee is also finished. Latin is called a dead language, meaning it is not currently spoken by people. However, it has influenced a lot of other languages, including English. It's also still used very often, especially in science. For example, signs you might see on plants or trees probably show the Latin scientific name rather than their common English name. Learning a few Latin phrases such as ad hoc, bona fide, and etc. can help your English too. 很多人都知道，拉丁文已经是一个不被使用的语言，但是还是有很多拉丁文的用语会出现在英语当中。例如 ，bona fide 就是真诚或实在的意思。We are your bona fide English teachers。我们是你最忠实的英文老师。另外一个拉丁文的用语，你可能会经常听到，那就是 etc。意思就是如此、等等、诸如此类。我们经常会在一句话的句尾看到 e t c 的缩写，那就是 etc。还有一个经常看到的拉丁文是 ad hoc， 意思就是为了某种目的而临时创造的。The government formed an ad hoc committee to oversee the festival。政府组成了一个临时委员会，监督整个节庆活动的进行。也就是说，活动结束，这个委员会也会跟着解散。这就是今天的 InfoCloud， 我们下次云端见。